Hello everybody again. Joseph with another tutorial, digital electronic gates. We discussed before about the gates, NAND gates, AND gates. Today we're going to do something a little different called waveform analysis. With respect to waveforms, inputs and outputs, you're going to see the waveforms as highs or lows. And with regard to that, you're going to determine the output. So let's start. Regular AND gate over here. We know we need both to be ones. So when this is one and this is a one, output will be a one. With respect to time, if this would be the waveforms, A would be the input over here. B would be another input. And Y, in this case, would be the output. Now, with respect to time, whenever you see, <clears throat> whenever you see, right here, a low, this is a high. This is a high, a one over here. This is a low. Now, this is the leading edge going to a high. This is a low going to a high, coming back to a low, going back to a high. We're concentrating on this right here, this part in time with respect to each other. And this is very interesting. Two inputs are ones. We need the output to be one. <clears throat> now, let's look at the analysis of the waveform with respect to time in a shaded blue area over here. <clears throat> now, what's this waveform over here? We said this is a one. So in the waveform, A is a 1 input. What about the B input with respect to this time? B is also a 1. It's a 1. What the output be? The output should be a 1. Let's look at the waveform. If A is a 1, B is a 1, that means Y is a 1, right? This is a 1. We said this waveform is a 1. And this waveform is a 1. That fits our truth table. <clears throat> so therefore, by the waveform, you see that we have the, the, the proper criteria to make this a 1. If you come over here, same idea. If you would be over here, this would be 0. One of the inputs would be 0. Other input would be 1. <clears throat> so therefore... What does that mean? Output would be zero. And that verifies our truth table that if one of these would be a zero, in this case A, output is a zero. Within time, look at it. Zero input, one input gives us a zero. Let's look at this one. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> this is a one again. It was a zero, now it went up to a one. This stayed as a 1. This went from 0 to 1. In other words, A is a 1. B is a 1. That makes us Y is a 1. Exactly. Just our truth table. That's an end game. Interesting. Now we're going to go to another one. <clears throat> now, excuse me. NAND gate. All 1s, we get a 0. Remember a bubble? I explained to you. It means a 0. Let's look, at, let's look at it with respect to time. Now, if we're going to go over here, we said this is a, a, a zero, a low. This is a one. And this is a zero. And this is a one. Let's go with this one with respect to time. We know we need all ones. Give us a zero. Is that true at this part of this waveform? This was a zero, went to a one. Right now it's a one. This is a 1, stay the 1. Until then, it's a 0, until that point. Right now, it's a 1. This was a 0, now went to a 1. 1, 1, 1. A, B, C, at this point, is a 1. Therefore, what would the output be? Here's the bubble, 0. Is it true? 1 here, 1 here, 1 here. Give us a 0. This verifies our truth table. When all the inputs are ones, I don't care if you have two, three, four, 
inputs, as long as all of them are ones, the output will be a zero. So if you looked at the waveform <coughs> on a logic analyzer, this will tell you the, the truth table. Let's go to another one. OR gate, believe it or not. OR gate, if all of them are zeros, then the output is zero. Isn't that true? Or going the converse way, if any one of them is a one, the output is a zero. Meaning, if all of them are zeros, the output is zero. That's another way of saying that. So in other words, the bubble tells us again, it's a zero. We need a zero for this input. We got a zero for A, we got a zero for B, we got a zero for C. That's what we wanted. When we have all that, then at this one, we have a zero. Zeros will give us a zero. Let's look at the waveform. <clears throat> now, interesting. Let's look if it, if it fits our criteria. One over here, remember, this is a one. This is a zero. This is a zero. And this is a one. Let's go to where this highlighted area is. What did we just say? A is a zero. It went from a one to a zero. B, B, went from zero and it stayed a zero. C, from zero, stayed a zero. Up to here is a zero. Therefore, output is a zero. And here you have it right here in the waveform. Zero input, zero input, zero input will give us zero output at the Y. How beautiful digital electronics is, isn't it? One more. So you gain confidence and then you understand how we would look at it on the waveform. And we're going to do more waveforms with flip-flops and encoders and other things. It's easy to just say when they, when they teach digital electronics, they just teach one here, one here, and it gives us a one. But when you see it on the waveform, if you would actually have an analyzer where you hook everything up to the inputs because you have a lot of connections that you're able to do that. If you have five connections here, another connection here, you need about six connections with the logic analyzer, which is not used that much today, we can see that. So you need many channels. So this is how I teach it. All zeros here with the bubbles will give us a one. Let's look if that's true on our waveform. Now, A, this was a zero, it's staying a zero. This was a zero over here, it's staying a zero. This was a one, it changed now to a zero. C is a zero. CC is a zero. Flip to a zero. Went from a high to a low. This was a low, stay, um, stayed a low. <coughs> this was a low, stayed a low. This went from low to high. The output, why? Because everything in this time zone was zero. And that's the requirement we need. Therefore, this is the proof. So therefore, I hope you understand this. And we're going to go, like I said, over more things. And please go to my channel. Um, on uh, my channel, uh, uh, Automotive Schematics by Joseph. And please, if you want to subscribe, I, I, I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.